Hey YouTube, Blake1827. Uh, I wanted to do a uh, another updated pipe collection video. I had recently sold eight of my pipes and a pipe stand on eBay. Kind of culled my collection down a little bit. And since I made my last pipe collection video at the end of last year, I bought eight new pipes to make up for that essentially during that time. So. This is what I've got. This is a Neptune strawberry shape. This is made by Briar Works, the same guys that made the Vermont Freehand Norse Dog that I had earlier. This one's got some beautiful, deep sandblast. Um, and I love the engineering on these Briar Works pipes. A nice, tight, conical bowl that's pretty deep. And narrow and then the long shank there. Um, I also got one more Briarworks pipe, uh, not a 7LE 320, but the author, I think this is their 101 shape. Um, a really understated pipe, just like the 7LE 320s that everybody loves. It's got that good feel in the hand but nice understated black stem and a nice little black band on there. And again, great engineering, nice little finish, nice understated pipe. I like Briarworks pipes quite a bit. Um, I had been wanting a Nearup pipe for quite a while, but I couldn't find the right combination of stem and shape and kind of the varnish finish I wasn't too crazy about or some of the stems like I said and then the big bowl on all the near pipes it's almost a 0.9 inch diameter on most of these um, but I was at the pipe shop one day talking to one of the tobacconists Tom at my local Edwards and he was smoking a, um, this is a Eric Stokeby fourth generation. And I said, is that a Nearup? And he's like, no, it's an Eric Stokeby. And then around that same time, I had uh, watched a Once Upon a Pipe video. And he interviewed uh, Eric Stokeby at a pipe event at his local pipe shop. And they were talking about the fourth generation pipes. And they were, in fact, made by uh, Peter, uh, the guy who makes the Nearup pipes. And this one, the ring grain, is incredible on this pipe. All the way around. I got this pipe for an absolute steal. Uh, just a deal I could not pass up. And the... Uh, I like the black mouthpiece on it but the uh, the ring grain is incredible on this pipe absolutely fantastic it's a really big chamber it's got a nice little band but pretty happy with this pipe um, I'll settle with this pipe being my by near up um, there you go um, speaking of youtubers I was watching a Padre Piper video, and he was smoking a Charlestown Cobbler. So I jumped on smoking pipes and saw that they were finally back in stock. So I had to order one of these to go along with my, my Dagner Missouri Meerschaum Cobb. Um, just love the red stem on these. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, pretty happy with this this pipe. Nice finish on it. Um, I love my Suge pipes as well. I ended up with two more Suge's, uh, Bamboo Billiard here. Nice bamboo shank. This one's got another fairly big chamber, a little bit bigger than I, I like normally, but for a Suge and a, another bamboo stemmed pipe, I couldn't pass this guy up. So... Went ahead and added this to my collection. 
And then another Suge pipe that finally came back in stock was kind of their, their basic minimal series pipes. Just a simple straight billiard. Um, really understated, but this one's got some really understated bird's eye in the finish here on this guy. Nothing too fancy, but again, I like my Suge pipes quite a bit as well. So happy to pick this one up. And then I ended up with uh, two Scott Klein pipes. This is either a footed acorn kind of shape or a cutty kind of shape, but this is a Scott's pipe, one of his handmaids. It's not one of his super high-end artisan pipes, kind of a middle of the road, right around the $150 range. Um, but the uh, engineering and the finish on this and the mouthpiece um, for this nice little Scott Klein. Um, can't, can't say enough about this little guy. Really nice. Um, one more, I got a Scott's Burner. Um, this one, I think he was saying that he was getting the briar from St. Claude, France. And, uh, this one's got some deep flaws in it you can see there um, but such thin walls and a nice little quick smoke pipe just a real like you said a burner kind of a throwaway pipe you know nothing you're gonna be too concerned about getting dinged up or anything but yeah nice little Scott's Klein straight billiard so those are the pipes that I've added to my collection, guys. Hope you enjoyed the little tour. Take it easy.